Hi, everybody. It is March 16, 2021. The asinine notion that there is an easy solution to gaining back freedom. This is an article by Gary Barnett. I'm going to read maybe the whole thing. Um, I'm glad somebody is writing about this because comments that Gary has received, I have received. I'm sure a lot of people have received, and I'm tired of it, just like Gary is tired of it every single week. And sometimes, several times a week, I get letters, usually nasty, about how I have never given any solution to this takeover being experienced today. It is normally something to the tune of, all you and others do is tell us what the problem is, but you never tell us what to do about it, what the solution, apparently a one-time fix-all solution, should be to fix it. This question and criticism is irritating to no end and exposes the real problem that faces us today. For how am I? or anyone else, for that matter, going to be able to convince hundreds of millions, or in this case, billions of people, to all act in a way that is not only sane, but that will drive these masses of humanity to at least attempt to help themselves. How do you do that? The very thought of such an attitude should be fully descriptive of why this country and the world are now consumed by a lack of drive to do anything to address their own plight by simply taking personal responsibility. Most everyone in this country apparently thinks that someone else should come up with a plan for them and all ills will magically be cured. How absolutely childish and absurd. How many times have I responded throughout the years to those comments. You never, ever talk about, well, I actually do talk about solutions. You clearly don't want to hear what the solution is. It means you actually taking action. Oh, actually taking action. Changing. You have to change. <gasps> I don't hear that. I don't hear that, and I'm going to write a comment about how you never, ever talk about solutions. Not only irritating, it's maddening. It's gaslighting. It's bullshit. But for any adult to look to another adult to provide a solution that means that that adult hasn't sat down and thought about what they can do. They're wanting someone to tell them what to do. That means they've got a psyche that, oh, that's the psyche that got us into this nightmare. You've got to change that psyche that you've got going. I have penned tens of thousands of words just this past year alone as to what the solution entails. But that doesn't mean that any large number of people are listening, or more importantly, are willing to take any real risk to save themselves. I am sick of this question and of those that expect me to fix all their problems in life by telling them what to do and how to act as if they would ever take my advice in the first place. They are willing to do as they are told by government, but not willing to fight or do anything else to save their own liberty. They continually seek a master's approval and desire to follow the orders of others. This is the problem. This is the problem. Grow up. Start thinking for yourself understand that there are so many things that one can do in their own community. Thinking that some president in the White House is going to fix it. Thinking that anybody in Washington, D.C. is going to fix it. Do you not understand how deep we are into this new world order? This has been going on for years. 
years, decades, a whole long time. We got ourselves here because of the psyche that so many people have that lead them to take no action, fight against nothing, and at the same time somehow justify their inaction as virtuous, as, as, as a wonderful thing. We are so screwed up, it's beyond belief. And unless the individual, and of course it's got to be in the aggregate, but the individual sit down and think about, wow, how have I contributed to this nightmare? Because if you don't see what you're doing as a contribution to this nightmare, you will never change. You'll just go on thinking that you are are fabulous. And all of the people, oh, they're just posting on all of the problems and they're just not giving us any solutions. Grow up. The long letter I received this morning from a reader was pretty much as all the others asking this question or demanding a solution. But at least this gentleman was fairly cordial and non-threatening but still very critical of me and any exposing the problems we face, but not fixing the problems we describe. I am not including his letter, as it was long and somewhat repetitive. I felt I owed him a decent response, so this is what I told him. Thank you for writing me. I appreciate it. I am always disheartened by letters like yours because I have given the solution over and over again. There is but one, but it is impossible to bring it to fruition, fruition by announcing some sort of trick to get this ignorant and indifferent population to do anything other than follow orders. They simply have no desire to protect their own freedom and seem content to wallow in apathy while waiting for the government to tell them what to do. They go to the polls to choose new masters every year, and every four years they scream and fight to see which of the selected two presidential masters will rule, rule them. In what has always been a scam, people continue to vote, which is a fool's game, and think because, because of it they are free. The crumbs, the crumbs given to a demoralized people. Oh, they rejoice. They love the crumbs. The problem is we've got so many who have literally no respect for their own life, for anybody else's life, but they don't understand they don't have respect. Oh, they tell themselves they're very respectful. They tell themselves that they care, that they're a good person, and they do squat. Nothing. Nothing. To manifest that care. Here is a plan for you. <laughs> Indoctrination at this level cannot be overcome by simply saying, here is a plan for you. We've all been indoctrinated. With that understanding, we need to reflect upon our own life, how we behave in the world, what we do, what our responses are, what we say, what we claim to value, but maybe we don't. We've got to reflect on all of it, but we've got to reflect on how am I indoctrinated? Have I been indoctrinated to believe that, oh, my vote counts? Oh, I voted for this president, and the indoctrination goes as far as, now you can sit back and let that daddy take care of all of the problems, like a little child. 
like a little child. Oh, I don't have to fix anything. I just have to cast a vote. For one party. For the one party that has existed in our country forever. One party. May have started out. This country is so young. So young. It may have started out. Here you go, people. You get to rule. You get to rule the government. It's a gift to you. And soon after, it was squashed. If one is to walk the streets of America today and not understand the idiocy present and the depth of our problems due to the people themselves, then blindness has certainly consumed all the masses plus those expecting someone else to come up with a solution to change the minds of 330 million. That's not how many people exist in this country. And, yeah, I would venture to say that we are under 300 million today because of our infertility crisis and how sick Americans in just a few decades, how unbelievably not well unhealthy they have become, and many die because they're unhealthy. The world's population is going down. Believe mainstream media that, oh my God, we've got a population crisis that's causing climate change. The globalness of our world is causing pandemics. People have to start thinking. If they don't think, then what are they going to do with any solution handed to them? If they can't think, if they can't think properly. I'm not saying that my thinking is just so swell, but I am saying that it is absolutely paramount that people start thinking about their thinking. How is my thinking? Is it clear? Or is it filled with a lot of junk because of the indoctrination? And because I fill it with junk because I like to think I'm swell when I'm really not. When I've not done a friggin' thing to try to do something about the nightmare we're living in. The solution is mass disobedience and dissent. But by me telling people to do this, as I have been for over two decades, will not change anything. The people themselves have to stand up and take risk to protect their own liberty because I or no one else can do it for them. Yeah, you need to change. How many subscribers have I met since 2012 and stayed with, they owned, some of them owned incredible property, doing nothing, nothing at all to protect their own property. How many have I met? Oh, yeah, the loss of freedom, they bitch and complain, but they don't do anything. Nothing in their own communities. Nothing. They're rooted they have a stake in their community. They've been there forever. They've lived there, and they do nothing. You know, it's like some just sick fog has taken over. The American brain, the collective American brain, that really has manifested an apathy that is so profound that that is killing us. That's what's killing us. Not the elite and not those who give the orders and not those in Washington, D.C. It's the people who are so demoralized, who don't give a shit about their own life, who just go on and do squat 
And many of them know that we have massive problems, but they still, oh, oh, I voted, so I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait for Biden to fix things. I'm going to wait for Trump to fix things. Oh, Obama is going to fix things. Oh, no, it's Bush. Or no, it's Clinton. It's a, No. You know, that, that that is such idiocy to think that, first of all, one guy or the 500 plus in Washington, D.C. are going to fix it. How, how long? Are you going to watch these representatives in Congress represent corporations, represent the quote unquote elite, not represent you? It is has been in your face for decades and you still go on believing that they're going to save the day. While everything gets worse and worse. Yeah, it's hard to live in this idiocy. It's, it's sometimes just unbearable. You know, so many people are prepping to survive. To survive. I, I wonder why they want to. But it's like, I know that there's a lot of people out there that are putting all their energy into prepping for the shit that hits the fan. The shit hasn't hit the fan for them, but it's been a slow shit hit the fan, taking out more and more, taking out more and more of your fellow human beings all over the world, not just here. We can't figure out what to do to help them And we're putting in all of our energies to prep to survive a friggin' nightmare that, well, you'll survive until you run out of all your preps, and then you don't. As to patriots... Those that do the state's bidding in war are not patriots, but simply murderers for the state. The police, military, they are uh, perpetuating their own servitude by taking orders to kill others instead of doing something to free themselves. This is just another state trick to get people believing that war is in their interest when in fact it just tightens the chains of tyranny at home now the real rulers and their pawns in government are at war against the people and they still cower in fear of nothing FBI FBI they're investigating 2,000 domestic terrorists Of course it turns on their own people. We're in we're in deep, deep trouble. We're in deep trouble. And yeah. I can't not see it. I can't not feel it. Every day I see, or I read, or I, just Americans, like, going about their business, clueless or just apathetic. Americans were much less dumbed down and much more intelligent in the past, but allowed this government to steal all the schools so that nearly every citizen could be trained to be stupid and, stupid and obedient. Parents. Look to the parents. 
don't expect the teachers to do anything or those involved in our public education system, no, our public indoctrination system. Don't expect them to do it. They have a paycheck, and that's all that Americans really care about, their money. It's the parents. They love their children, right? They'll do anything for their children, right? Well, that's another big problem that we've had. You know, Americans don't even know how to care, how to love, how to, you know, because money is everything. Money and convenience and comfort. So the children get sacrificed. I'm not talking about all the parents. Oh, my God, there are some parents that have done everything they could possibly do to fight the indoctrination that has been worse and worse and worse with each generation. And now it is so sick and twisted. It is beyond belief. You still have parents out there fighting this sick, twisted system. Some have given up and just homeschooled. But most still put their kids into this into this system. And a whole lot of them, you know, are just afraid to speak up. They're just afraid. So the love that they have for their children doesn't trump their own fear. Wow. Yeah, I just don't want any backlash. And I want to be a nice person who's approved of. We have such infantile psyches And I'm sick of it. And I know a lot of you are too. Dumbed down. But still, you know, think about the baby boomers, my generation. We did squat. And by the way, to those who think baby boomers had nothing to do, the baby boomers are in the offices giving them the power that has shaped this country into the fabulous dark nightmare that it is. Baby boomers. See, this is what drives me nuts. The refusal to acknowledge the obvious. It's the baby boomers in charge. They're the rulers. You know, this don't play the blame game. Indoctrination. The, 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 you know, talk about the individual taking responsibility. That's been a fucking joke in our country. It's been a joke because nobody takes responsibility for anything. But people then walk off and feel, oh, so hoity-toity because they think they're taking responsibility. They don't take responsibility for anything. Nothing. Oh, well, if I took responsibility, if I really looked at how I contributed to this nightmare, it might bring me some shame or pain or discomfort, and I'm not going to go there. You know, we're kids, just little children. You got to value something more than your own little life and the paycheck that you're bringing in. The solutions have been spoken of by myself, by Gary Barnett, by a whole lot of people. Those who claim you are only posting on the problems and never the solutions, you just don't want to hear the solution. 
You don't want to take responsibility. Um, every citizen trained to be stupid and obedient. And that's what we are. Oh, and it, it's hard. It's hard to admit that. And they did it all in plain sight. I understood this when I was a young teenager. So why did not millions more also see it? I can tell you, they do not want to know the truth. They simply want to be taken care of at the expense of their neighbors, at the expense of their children, at the expense of everybody but their own self. Until, well, that expense becomes manifested right at their doorstep because it is true. I didn't speak up for the unionists because I was not a unionist. I didn't speak up for because I was not. And then when they came for me, there was no one else around to speak up for me. Every day, I check what's going on, the loss of freedom, the loss of free speech, the tyranny that is so in our face now. Every day I see it, and I just can't believe that those exceptional Americans are just going around living their own self-centered lives, not giving a shit. We had such a gift. We were different, not exceptional, hardly. That, yeah, the Constitution was exceptional because no other piece of paper gave the ordinary people the power to rule their government. Oh, and you can... You can argue that all day long. Oh, we never had that. They took it away immediately. Yada, yada, yada. Well, guess what? We did have it. We just never did anything to protect it. Never did anything to fight for it. Most Americans don't even know how this government was established. So if they don't know how it was actually established, how it was founded, how the hell are they going to do anything to try to protect the freedom that the people actually had at the founding? They can't. Because they don't even know what it is they're trying to protect. We don't have a, 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 a government... That has three branches, you know, exercising that, you know, check and balances. That's all gone. We've got presidents now acting like dictators. It's in our face with these executive orders. They have usurped congressional authority to write legislation and then sign it. And we're allowing this. You know, so you got... The Trump supporters who are supporting a president who is violating the Constitution left and right. Then you got Biden coming in. You got the Americans who are, oh, Biden, Biden, Biden this. And he's doing the exact same thing. No policies have changed. Everything has only gotten worse and worse. And nobody seems to want to see it. Oh, my God. It's... Well, soon, soon they will get their wish, as all will be slaves to this heinous and evil system allowed by the very people now complaining. 
Only individual resolve and willingness to take great risk in order to restore true freedom can change this course we are on. And absolutely no one can force these citizens to do it. They have to come to that as individuals. Nothing I say or do will change millions of minds and drive them to action. And in fact, if I had to force people to act as I wanted, I would be no better than the low-life scum that is running this country today. It is incredible how as soon as people become subject, it promptly falls into such complete forgetfulness of its freedom that it can hardly be roused to the point of regaining it. Obeying so easily and willingly that one is led to say that this people has not so much lost its liberty as won its enslavement. The politics of obedience, the discourse of voluntary servitude. I listened as much as I could to these mainstream media reporters. Oh my God. How oh, the American Rescue Plan, or whatever the hell it's called, the stimulus, the 1400 Yay! Woo! We get 1400 free dollars. Let's go out and buy a TV screen that's bigger than the one we have. Crumbs. Americans love their crumbs. They have no respect for themselves. How anybody could think $1,400 is going to save Pull us out of poverty. The bullshit that these mainstream medias report. Rachel Maddow makes me sick. She makes $30,000 a day to lie. To lie. To lie. That's her job. I'm a liar. While millions have been destroyed more millions getting destroyed, losing their homes, losing their apartments, can't feed their children. And we have Americans who don't give a shit. And it's in our face every day. Think. Reflect. Do the hard work. That's necessary. Think of the ripple effect of your own behavior in your own community. It matters. It matters how you behave, what you do. It matters. Just like it matters. when you don't do anything. And that is the majority. That is the majority. Hence the reason we now live in a friggin' tyranny when we were absolutely once the freest people ever to exist on this planet. Did we give up a gift? <laughs> yeah, we did. We gave it up. We gave it up for comfort. We gave it up to outdo the Joneses. We gave it up for material success. And we've left nothing behind for the younger generations. They will never know what we had growing up. Never know. All they know is a police state. The sick and twisted system of tyranny. That should really upset everyone. And if you're not upset by that, 
Well, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. The link is below to this article.